Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. And today, we're talking compressors. Yeah, our compressor's not very old. It's actually only a couple years old, but it's already time for an upgrade. Not capacity-wise, because we have an 80-gallon tank. However, just the quality and more CFM and be able to keep up. We're going over all that today. Why we gotta do what we gotta do. We got a sweet, sweet upgrade coming. United Pump and Compressors on their way. Stay tuned, let's do this. All right, guys, when we, when we uh, started the shop or I moved down here, we got this 80-gallon Ingersoll Rand. It's only a couple years old. Um, it is technically a five-horse, but uh, I was told that it's a smaller horsepower, that they turn up the RPM to get the amount of CFM. I'm not really sure. I'm not super versed on compressors. Um, it's been a good compressor. It puts out around 15 um, CFM at best. 80-gallon tank. We drain the thing daily. Uh, we do get a lot of condensation in the line when we do our, our uh, sandblasting. That's kind of kind of normal as far as that goes. We have some water separators there. We could do a little better. We don't have an air cooler yet. The new unit we're getting does have that. The, one of the big reasons why that we're upgrading is because of our sandblast cabinet. So recently we upgraded our sandblast cabinet to this brand new, well, it was new a few months ago, scat blast cabinet. This thing requires around 12 to 13 CFM. But when you're running this thing on WoW for 10, 15, 20 minutes, that baby, it's to the point where it can't keep up. We're dropping pressure, we're below our operating pressure of 90 pounds after about five, 10 minutes. It just can't do what we needed to do to keep up with this. So that's the way it goes, right? You upgrade equipment and then you find your next week link. Well, we found our next week link. And it's funny because my buddy Chris over at United Pump and Compressor, he was here for our open house. And while he was here, he was looking at our compressor because he, he does compressors and, and all that stuff. He's like, let me know when you're ready for an upgrade. And I'm like, what? It's not even that old. Then lo and behold, we upgraded our blast cabinet and we found our next week link. So it's time for an upgrade. He's on his way here now. Uh, we may actually get a visit from my dad, Steve, my buddy uh, Josh is coming with him as well because I got a bunch of uh, Rupp mini bike parts for him all powder coated up. So it's gonna be a good day. We're gonna swap this out. We'll be in business. So it's early. Uh, they're on their way there. Yeah, it's a good over an hour drive or so. I got my coffee going. <laughs> don't make fun of my Winnie the Pooh cup. It's the first one I grabbed, all right? Don't, don't judge. And don't forget, you gotta treat your um, contractors and buddies well and yourself so we uh stopped at the old dunkin donuts and got us some donuts let's get this crap out of here so it should be a pretty smooth quick transition we actually had to upgrade our wiring so we had to pull out the 10 gauge and install some 8 gauge wiring to be able to put up with the amp amp uh draw of the new compressor so we got everything groomed out ready to go so basically just going to unplug this unit undo our coupler there our airline and it should be a pretty straightforward swap. He's got a dolly because this thing weighs four or five hundred pounds. I think the new one's around seven hundred pounds. So we should be able to clear all this junk out of the way. I'm going to drain the air out of it and get things disconnected for him so we can just pull it out, put the new one in, and simple as that, right? Simple things don't always go that way, especially when I say simple. It's not going to be bad. He's a professional. Let's do it. Ugh. There's never enough storage either. That's, that's the truth. I don't care how many cabinets you have, isn't enough cabinets. Oh baby, he broke out the big guns. I mean, it's a big compressor, I didn't realize it was that big. <laughs> Check him out, United Pump and Compressor. All right, here it is guys, this is my buddy Josh. Uh, do you remember him? He was, uh, remember the International that we we're getting ready to start on? So uh, that was his truck, so he's actually here. And I'm uh, gonna pick up some powder coat for his stuff as well. And then Chris is back there, um, the owner of United, and he is unhooking our new compressor. So we're gonna get that baby out. Kind of, I will go over, explain it, talk about it, and the differences and why we upgraded. I'll let him do that because he's educated and I'm not. It's about 800 pounds of machine right there. So it outweighs our current one by about three or 400 anyway. All right, here we go, out with the old, make sure it work a bit. In with the new, and he's got it completely like already like wired up, hoses ready to go. It's like you've done this before, Chris. Yeah, I've done it a few times in the last 25 years. <laughs> oh, I'm excited, this is gonna be so much of a nice improvement for our sandblasting. All right, the old one's out. Chris has already got the new one in, and we gotta fire it up. 
basically just a basic uh, electrical connection and the airline. So once it fills up with the air, I'll kind of go over it. All right, Chris has got his uh, his uh, studio voice going. So he's going to kind of talk to us a little bit about, I guess, the difference in, in compressors and why I had to upgrade and should upgrade and, and the reasons behind it. All right, buddy. So this one right here, seven and a half horsepower champion, advantage series, fully loaded, air cooled after cooler behind, help with the moisture in the air tank while you're using it and running it. Has integrated tank drain to drain the moisture out of the tank. Control box for your control power for your transformer, motor starter. Um, these are Baldor industrial motor seven and a half horsepower um, just a good quality unit right all together um, over here you have the ingersoll rand which is done good by you for what you were using it for it has um, it's more of like a homeowner type unit they rate it as six horsepower um, it's actually usually a three horsepower equivalent motor um, not as heavy duty, the pump's not as rugged as you could see. Um, it's just, it's good for home use. Yeah, so, no auto tank drain in this, because I drain yeah. that, I drain it daily, but I have to do it versus, yeah. yeah. So, I mean, it's it's all application based. This is gonna better serve you for what you're doing here. Be considered a commercial yeah. unit versus is, residential. Yep, commercial yep. compared to residential. That is the biggest, biggest example of the difference between the two so and recovery rate it recovers fat when it kicks on versus yep. this one kicking on it's going to recover faster yep. this should recover faster um it's gonna it has more cfm output yep um, we're around what 23 or 4 uh 20 24 almost 25 cfm okay on this one that's like 15 um, over that's there, 15 say. when it's brand new yeah um, of course, the more you use it, the hotter they get, the ratings drop down. Yep, exactly. Um, but no, a good unit. Been Excellent. around for years, so you should be happy. Um, already happy. All right, guys. They're packing it up. We got our new compressor. I'm going to be sandblasting this afternoon, so I'll be able to give you some feedback on it. And a huge thank you uh, to Chris over here. United Compressor and Pump. And... That's who you want to call. Anything pump, compressor related, these guys radiate. All right, guys, that's kind of going to bring us to the end of this. We've got our new Champion compressor installed. And I'll do some updates. I'm going to start some sandblasting um, this afternoon to kind of, because that was a big reason for us to have to upgrade our compressor. And after a lot of research and talking with Chris, this was the right unit for what we wanted. And yes, we did look at the rotary screws and all that stuff as well. That could be in our future down the road, depending on how things keep growing and everything. But this is going to meet our needs. Um, or it should for more more than enough to uh, for the next several years We'll have this one up for sale here recoup a little bit of money as far as that goes um, So thanks for watching nice little video. I mean, it's just you know, you got a question drop a comment and thanks for hanging with us. Take care